Hey there, folks. You know, one of the things that I love, 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 and that is triple love about PowerPoint 2010 and later are its graphics capabilities. From the built-in artistic image effects that you can apply to pictures to some of the subtle tools that we don't often play with, you can take a static image like the one that you see here on the left and turn it into a brand new composition like the one on the right. And actually, I went ahead and did that in PowerPoint 2010. Now, this is kind of cool because it allows you to create those Instagram or pic, uh, Twitter pick type of effects. Even some consumer video cameras these days have settings that allow you to get a nice soft glow look like you see here over on the right. So how do we do this? Let's create what we see here on the right or something similar over in PowerPoint. We'll start with the image that you see here on the left. So I'm going to start with that very image. And you notice we have a nice soft glow over here on the right. So we want to create that glow effect, that nice glowing, soft, gentle effect that you see a lot of times in professional compositions to this picture. Now, we could go into artistic effects here. Let me go to For My Picture. I'll add, access it from here. Could go into artistic effects and create a blur effect and try to drop the blur down. But really, that just kind of leaves it feeling blurry rather than soft. So what we're going to do is this. I'm going to insert a shape that's the exact same size as this image. And I'll move it off to the side to show you what we're going to do. And this is actually a video technique of layering. I'm going to copy this picture. And I'm going to format this shape. And I am going to fill this shape with the picture. So I copied it to my clipboard. I select clipboard from in for the insert. And now it fills the shape with that picture. We'll get rid of the line there as well. The reason I want to do this is because I want access to the transparency tool to be able to drop the transparency of that image up and down. Bonus tip, however, a bonus feature is that it still allows me access to the artistic effects. So I am going to apply a blur effect to this image here. Maybe I turn it up a little bit. And here's the cool part. Move this one over. I'm going to take this blurry picture and layer it right on top of the crisp picture. And now going to my transparency tool, drop the transparency down. This now, instead of being blurry, it allows the image, the crisp image behind to bleed through and gives it a soft glow type of look to it. And once again, it's a video. That's what they do in the video with the video layering to give you a nice, soft, dreamy look. All right, so I have that soft glow now. Next thing I want to do is add some of these little camera distortions, bokeh, bokeh, what is that, boku, not boku, I'm just kidding. We're going to add those in, and those are fairly straightforward. We can add a shape in here, and maybe I fill it with white, get rid of the outline, and since it's a shape, I have access to the transparency tool to drop it down. And again, I can put that wherever I want, increase, decrease the transparency. I may even want to give it a little soft edge there. I could do that as well with the soft edges. But I can put those wherever I might want them to be. I can duplicate them. I can change the size, move them about the screen wherever I want. Really, it's your wor little world. You can put them where you want. Miss you, Bob Ross. All right, so we have that now. Now, the last thing we want to do is we want to create a frame. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to create a shape, same size, and I'm going to add another shape right inside it. And this is one of those tools that you don't often see in PowerPoint because it's not standard in your ribbon. You have to add it in. Go to the PowerPoint options to do so. I select both of these, and I use my Shape Combine tool, which allows me to cut out the middle shape. And it's still a shape, so I can fill it as I please. There we go. And so now what I can do with this, it's a shape. So I want to copy it, and I'm going to paste it as an image. For once I do that, it now allows me to apply the artistic effects to it. So I can come in, and I can apply a cutout effect to it. And here's the technique. Copy that, paste it, and now you can layer another technique, another artistic effect over the top of it because it's a picture. So now maybe you put a little blur in there. You add a little pencil stroke in there, pencil sketch, something like this. Copy that, paste it. Add another effect. Add that blur tool to it. So suddenly you can start to layer these effects on top of one another and get a much different outcome from what you started with. So now where we started with this nice crisp image, we have moved on to something like this. And again, it's just a great way to use those tools in PowerPoint to enhance your images, to enhance your, your PowerPoint presentations, or your e-learning projects. If you have any other questions about this or anything else, head on over to the e-learning heroes forums at articulate.com, and we will help you out.